Hey, what is up, everybody? Hope you guys had a happy new year. My new year was, um, I partied, I drank, and then I cried. Yeah, that was it. But anyway, so yeah, uh, new video for you guys. First video of the year 2017. Go in this year. Yeet! Yeah. This video is about respecting your opponent. Now, a lot of people, they kind of play and when they have a hard time hitting somebody or approaching them they kind of just force their way in and you know hope that they get a lucky hit a lucky break can't do that most of the time really against a good talented player you just gonna get put down every time and the reason for that because you're not respecting them so i'll show you exactly what i mean when i talk about respecting your opponent and we're gonna get this out the way right here that's a cloud right my man clouds he got range looks like let me uh let me set the cpu to uh, no, control now i'm gonna get my control okay i can move the white boy all right so respect see he got a sword if a cloud is doing this near me spacing his moves i cannot Try to rush in and do this. That's too slow. I can't do this. You can't, you know, go in that. No, no, no. He has more range than me and is faster than what I'll be able to do. So range and speed. So if I try to go in with Cloud while he's doing that, I'm going to get hit. Basically, I'm not respecting him. So I have to respect this or he's just going to rack up damage and... I'm just gonna die if I keep this up. So I have to, you know, chill out. So in this case, I'll grab a turn up, right? My man Cloud swinging. After he swings, there you go. And then once I hit him with a turn up, I go in and, I don't know, I could probably like grab him, do whatever. But yeah, there's certain things with characters that you have to respect. Now, I had a habit back then where I would fight somebody and say they were like nowhere near my skill level, right? They were nowhere near my skill level. But when I fought them, I was getting hit a lot. Even though I won, I was getting hit a lot, kind of struggling a bit. I'm like, yo, hold on, what? He's not, he's not that skilled of a player. So why was I like kind of struggling just getting hit mad times with all this shit? And I just realized, it doesn't matter if the opponent is not at your level. You still got to respect the opponent's character, the stuff that he does. If your opponent is rushing in, pushing buttons, all right, it may be predictable, but that does not give you an excuse to just go in and, you know, do stuff. Like, you may not be respecting your opponent, and in cases like this, you may not have to. But the character that your opponent is using and some of the options that are going on, you gotta respect that shit. You can't just go in over with Nilly and, you know, just do whatever. So, yeah, like, it's one important aspect of Smash, any fighting game in general. But since this is Smash, we're gonna talk about Smash. You gotta, a lot of things you gotta uh, respect. You gotta learn respect. And there's certain things that your opponent has to respect from you. And if they don't do that, then they just gonna get bopped. And then they're gonna be on freaking smash boards or twitter or youtube ranting about how the characters cheap take no skills or you're going for glory and people calling you cheap lazy and you know racial slurs yeah you already know jeff man you, you know that shit you already know but yeah you gotta learn to respect your opponent if the opponent has a projectile then do not go rushing in jumping in the air over the nilly and shit because you you just don't keep getting damage. Damage you're going to be racking up. If your opponent is faster than you, do not go trying to chase him and hit him. Because you're just going to leave yourself open. He's faster than you, so if you try to go and hit your opponent, he's going to dip, you attack, and then he's fast enough to close the gap and then punish you. If your opponent has range, respect the range. Don't go on jumping. You're going to get range flat zoned out. I have a video that I made Specifically for Peach, but if you look at it, it counts for, um, you can apply this to whatever characters you guys use. 
Um, I posted in a link description below. It's basically how to deal with fast characters, projectile type characters, and characters who have more range than you do. I said I give tips on how to deal with this stuff as Peach, but the tip that I give, you could probably um utilize that with characters that you guys use for those who are watching, you know, not Peach me. But yeah, the link for that will be in the description below. If you are mobile, um, at the end of the video, I'll have it, you know, right there recommended. But yeah, that's it, man. Um, I'm not gonna make this video too long. There really isn't much I can say. Just respect your opponent. Right? If your opponent has the advantage, if you're near... Oh, shit. My bad, Clouds. Damn. Disrespect the white boy. What are you doing that? Right, anyway. See, right here, if... I'm near the left and Cloud is here. I cannot. I cannot do this. No. I cannot do this. I cannot try to grab. I cannot just go in. Like, a lot of people do that. When I fight a lot of people, they just do that. Because you know what? They're overwhelmed. They're like, all right. Hold up. They get overwhelmed. They're like, okay, he's here. Like, I'll just face a few moves and then. After that, the opponent just tries to rush in at me. So that's why I do this. I wait, and then I'll grab him. Or, you know, I'll, I'll do stuff like that. Just to make them want to push a button, you know, push their panic button, or just force their way out of a bad situation. You can't force your way out of a bad situation. You gotta sit there and be patient. You put yourself in that situation because you did something that wasn't safe, or maybe you didn't put yourself in that situation. You just got outplayed, made the more. Bloop. No, I can't talk. You got outplayed, made the wrong move, and now you're in a bad spot. When you're in a bad spot, you you can't call the shots. You cannot call the shots. You have to sit there and figure out a way to get out. The way to do that is through patience. Look at your opponent, study what they're looking for. If I have the opponent near the ledge. Like, if I got the opponent near the ledge, and I'm doing this, like, let's see how I do this, right? And then, I'm jumping back because of the fact that, all right, I'm pressing them, and they think I'm going to stay here. So, the opponent is going to try to roll. So, I'm like, okay, word, he might try to roll. So, let me see. I'll do this, and then I'll jump back and do that. Then, they're going to roll into my, uh, my fair. Now, if I do this, and then wait, that means I'm waiting for the opponent to try to grab me or attack. Then afterwards, I can grab. So you gotta study patterns like that. Based on what your opponent is doing, you can kinda tell what the opponent is looking for and expecting. So that way, once you see it happening, you can dip. So quick example for I end the video. Right here is, uh, I'm gonna that I do this. Jump back, I'm waiting for the opponent to roll. So how do you deal with that option? The moment, the opponent jumps back, that's it. I got this room. Look, now I'm back on stage. Back on stage, I could, you know, air dog behind them, whatever. That's what it is. Now, if I do this, and I wait for the opponent to, like, sidestep and throw out a move, what a smart player would do, if they're adapting to my pressure, is they're gonna wait, do that, and then while the opponent's waiting, you can probably just go in, or not even, just get behind them. You know, dip. You gotta realize how the opponent is trying to pressure you and hit you, especially when you near the ledge. And then take account of, take account of that, and you know, get out. Do the proper action to get out. One option doesn't cover everything. If I'm doing this, oh shit, Peach no! Damn, Red Peach, she lived a good life. Right, anyway, uh. If the opponent is doing this, they're covering the option of you rolling. So that way you're going to get hit with a nair. But it's not covering the option if I roll behind you. Or it's not covering the option of if I do that. Or it's not going to cover the option if the opponent jumps on landing dash attack. See? Now if the opponent is doing this, You're covering the option of you, after the nair, you try to grab them or attack. You're just going to do that and hit you. So those, those are just a few examples. But yeah, long story short, respect your opponent. They have range. 
Don't don't rush in. All right. I don't care if your character has good moves and whatever. That doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean that if they outrange you or faster than you, you can't just go in over nilly depending on gimmicks. A lot of players do that. They want to go for the gimmicky stuff like Mario players, Mario's and Ness players. They always want to go for the grab. No matter how many times they fail, no matter how well the opponent is moving and hard to hit. If you're having a hard time hitting your opponent, landing an attack, what makes you think that just running in all winning Lenny, going for a thousand grabs per second, is going to make it any better? It, it, it isn't. It's not. So, like, if you don't know what to do, forcing an attack, forcing a grab, forcing a, you know, whatever, it's not going to work. And not in ten times because you're not respecting your opponent. You're not respecting his speed, his range, his intelligence. Is that because that's why you're having a hard time hitting your opponent? And it's just gonna go bad. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, if you guys want to see more, just say I got the the YouTube channel. You can subscribe. I have a whole bunch of tutorial videos with Peach and this series. That you see, I, I got a playlist for a whole bunch of stuff I've done. This, um, some Smash parodies, all that. You take on my channel if you want. And if you enjoy it, um, hit that sub button. I appreciate it. And once again, thanks for all the new subscribers that I got through my ladies videos. And of course, my veteran subscribers that have been supporting me. You know, spreading the word and all that, man. You guys are all together freaking savages. That said, you have a beautiful day. And I'll catch y'all next time. Deuces!